Hey guys, <clears throat> eh, since nga pagaw na naman ako, so hindi na ako makakakanta kahit gusto ko yung kuman. <laughs> so good evening guys, let's um, talk about um, my thoughts on the current pandemic. Um, as you are aware, um, the cases have again surged to as high as 8,000 plus yesterday I think, right? So um, <clears throat> at, at at first, we thought that the 5,000 is so much, then it went down to 4,300, and then it went up again to 5, then it went up again to 5, 4,000, and then it went up to 7,000, and yesterday it was 8,000. Today is a little lower, but um, we should not be complacent because apparently not all laboratories have submitted their um, reports today, so expecting that tomorrow may, might be higher and all that. So. Simple mathematics lang naman eh. So kung 8,000 a day, so ilan in one month or two months, three months, right? So um, that's that's my predicament right now. Although ako din, <clears throat> ginulti rin talaga ako kasi nga pumapasok ako sa opisina and all that. And uh, my children are really shouting, hindi naman na shouting, kundi really against the idea of me coming to the office because, well, honestly, in the office were only a few talaga and in fairness to the company they allow us naman to really work from home it's just that it's my option to report to the office because like for the last two days i've been meeting with uh, regulators and uh, as such it would require my presence right but yes it is very critical at this point and uh, it's really very dangerous especially yesterday that i heard that one of the employee within the employees one employee in the group died of COVID-19 and he was just uh, very young so um, in that case maybe but still sige, um, I should reflect on you know my thoughts on this pandemic really you know um, naiinis ako dun sa may sinisingit pang election at this time please Ako, I don't want to say I'm a Duterte natics or a yellow or whatever. I'm just a beautiful citizen hoping that, you know, um, our country could solve this problem very well because as it is, mga edukado naman tayong tao, di ba? So more or less, mga strategies naman tayo. So bakit hindi natin masolve yung problem? So, ang um, nakakaingit lalo yung mga overseas Filipinos na nasa New York, yung nasa abroad. Kasi, like today, di ba, parang 50 years old and above sa New York, eh di kasama ako dun. <laughs> Sana ako na andun ako. Eligible for vaccination. Uh, my friends from UAE, ang tagal na nilang nagkaroon ng vaccine. Kasi libre nga yung vaccine dun. And there are OFWs there. So, yung mga ganun ba, um, but still and all, we don't want to do so for this country. But still, by virtue of our freedom of speech, we also are free naman to voice our, our concerns and ideas and uh, you know uh, and we were thinking that you know the taxes we paid more or less could commiserate or shall I say uh, reward us with yung nga yung mga ganyang pagkakataon katulad dito no because it's it's in the constitution that the, that the state should protect its citizens di ba? and the president has the power on many things and uh, even the Congress has powers, the Senate, Senate has powers, and all that. So, uh, hindi ko alam kung anong gagawin eh. Ang problema, like I have a friend who is sick of COVID, but he cannot go to the hospital because the hospitals are full. And then one even told me that a certain kapitbahay bill is around 2 million. Eh, naman kami kukuha ng 2 million? Diba? And then um, another is 3 million. So, ganun yung ano. At the same time, wala nang beds na, uh, 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 ano, na available. The problem is, uh, uh, I think the the reason for the surge of cases is that now we are open to testing, you know, because it used to be that, you know, on the early on, we don't open everyone to testing, no? And uh, I'm, I'm even thinking that the testing should not be that expensive so that, because other countries even offer it for free so that everyone who wants to be tested and would have that peace of mind would have <clears throat> the opportunity to be tested because um, 
you never know kasi ano, at least kung, uh, pa, kung test ka na, then you would undergo isolation, quarantine, and all that, di ba? So, yun lang yung, ano, yung comment ko dito sa pandemic. It's really very frightening. It's really something that worry, worrying, something worrying for me. And um, it's something that I cannot see the light at the end of the tunnel yet for the Philippines. It could have been good if the vaccine, of course, may darating daw na Sinovac from China. And someone even posted, hindi pa daw tayo talaga nakakabili. Parang yung mga, sa atin, mga bigay pa lang daw. Sorry, hindi ako masyadong up, uh, updated. And I heard also, I also know, uh, read that there is really a, uh, a budget for vaccination program. So, uh, of course, the vaccine is a first line of defense. But and it could be mitigated by you know wearing a face mask, wearing a face shield. Still and all, we're 105 billion Filipinos, and you can just imagine how can you distribute the vaccines, you know, throughout the Philippines. And like right now today, our our town, you know, remember the town that I came from, Paul Oriental Mindoro, it's a very small town, with you know, uh, 23 barangays, pero maliliit lang siyang barangay, and yet lockdown in two weeks for two weeks meaning walang pwedeng pumasok nalibawa pumasok ka doon LSI up or wala walang ganun so uh, wow and then for accidental Mindoro um, a variant South African variant is present na uh, for, for an OFW that came from the Middle East so yung mga ganun ba na and we cannot Alam mo yung nangyayari ngayon? It's a, some sort of an ECQ. Of course, it's advantageous on our part for those who are commuting because we have transportation. Because in an ECQ environment, there's you no know, transport, right? So, but then again, um, parang ganun na rin yung, ano, yung sitwasyon. And yet, people are aimlessly wandering everywhere. Especially on my building, in our building, pagbaba mo dito talagang sobrang dami pa. It's the reason also kaya nagpapagabi ako kasi at least sa gabi, konti na lang ang tao sa kalye. Kasi pag bumaba ka ng 5, 6, oh my gosh, the the, the streets are really swarmed with people, you know, and um, you never know, di ba? So, um, today I came from BIR and uh, ganun din, ang daming tao. In fairness to BIR, they are 100% in working there. So, um, Ano ba to? Survival of the fetus na ba to? Herd immunity na ba to? And all that. So, um, yeah, I just want to enjoin everyone to protect ourselves and um, continue to be vigilant and continue to... Yun nga, katulad ko, yung sarili ko sinasabihan ko ngayon eh, na bakit ka ba kailangan pumasok? <laughs> Siguro yun yung... Doon nagaano kasi yung malasakit ko talaga sobrang taas. As in anything I do, I'm really passionate on everything and all that. But of course, um, I'm keenly aware that there is a virus, that the COVID-19 is real. And with the uh, two variants from UK and South Africa, then it's getting dangerous. And you know, there is no um, vacancy in hospital. So anyway, I don't know if it makes sense, but I just want to to share with you my thoughts and inputs and provide you updates as well. And um, sa akin ha, without offense to the Duterte Natics and Mr. President, please, I think that um, for me, ha, maybe convene an emergency meeting with all the cabinets there, with all the best in the health, and, you know, uh, unite all the, all the inputs and ideas and then saka na lang mag-decide kung anong gagawin. At least, meron tayong ginagawa, di ba? At, tangnalo, kalimutan mo na yung, yung politika, please. Uh, let's focus on the public health of people because, as you know, sabi nga nila, health is wealth. And you know, when you're sick, the world stops, right? And you know naman that that's the reason why Filipinos migrate to other countries is because other countries is a very good health program. And which is really not present here. Of course, we have some field health, but then again, it cannot provide as much. And no one wants to get sick, actually. Okay, so yes, it's disheartening. It's uh, nakakalungkot, nakakatakot.
and um, I really pray that alam mo yung yung mag independent pray ko talaga na yung suddenly mawala na lang yung virus parang ganun na wala na tayong wala na tayong biglang nawala na lang siya di ba ang tawag ba doon basta may tawag doon eh nalimutan ko na naman tanda ko na tayo ka <laughs> so uh, good evening guys and um, I hope everyone's safety and I hope and I pray for everyone's um, health and uh, well-being and uh, for for people in Pola, please take care. If you see my nanay, my inay, please tell her to not go out. But I will call her as well and you know send some money because how can she cope with at this time? You know, at this kung may pupunta sa palengke, no, mapabili naman siyang ulam and all that. So um, that's it. It's really, huh? We just really have to be strong. It's really a testing of our metal. And you know, a testing of our character right now, and all we need is strength and also uh, agility and you know, determination and firm will that we will survive all this. God bless you guys, and um, those are my thoughts right now for the pandemic. Um, I wish everyone safety, my friends. I wish everyone good health and safety, and I love you, and really, I value your friendship. Thank you very much, and God bless. God is good all the time. Let's unite each other also in prayers. Because prayers are really indeed very very powerful and you know in unity there is strength right god bless you guys good evening